Hey Cancer, it's your girl Nami with the Path of Guidance. <laughs> and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Hey guys, I'm back to do your second half of May 2020, the last day telling the secrets they keep. And if you guys haven't checked out this series on my channel, it's probably number one because you're not subscribed. So go ahead and take care of that right now while I explain to you what it is this series is. Don't forget to ring that bell so you can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave your thoughts and opinions down below. Now, to get into the little rundown about this reading here. This reading is made for those of you that are questioning the integrity of those around you. Whether it's friends, colleagues, fellow students, neighbors, um, just fake friends, family members, and whoever else could be in your energy field, stinking the place up, okay? So that you can filter that out and release those blockages because a lot of times these type of people that's in our lives is causing havoc and telling lies and keeping secrets. They are definitely number one, karmic energy. Number two, blockages when it comes down to our evolution. So it's important for us to know, not just for drama and tea purposes, but actually to grow past certain levels in your life, especially if you feel in a sense of stagnancy with those that you surround yourself by. All right, so when it comes down to these YouTube readings, of course, the energy and time is fluid. So that means that this could have been something that happened in the near, uh, that happened in the recent past or it can happen in the near future, or you can be right in the thick of this right now, but it is meant to provide you with some type of clarity, confirmation, or a heads up as it pertains to your situation. Okay, so we're going to hop right in, Cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the last half of May 2020. Spirit, what is it that my cancers need to know about the people in their surroundings? Who is in the immediate space of my cancers? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus telling lies and keeping secrets. Spirit, strangely lonely. Somebody that's clinging on to you, holding on way too tight. But for what? That's what we're here to find out. Because obviously, when it comes down to strangely lonely, this is a situation like, I just heard the song, I am your man, but only when you're lonely, if I was to bounce, that's when you will want me. So just keep in mind, if you're trying to move on with your life or you're moving on to a more prosperity um prosperity based level in your life like you elevating out of lack um you're healing you're loving yourself then you definitely could have somebody that's kind of envying envying that maybe they're wondering why couldn't they be this resilient while they were with me because you could have been going through certain things and this person could have been breaking you down to the ground okay but what i am getting is that they kind of looking at you with a sense of resentment like look you're not about to move on to the next level in life without me. So this person is clinging on to you. It could be for the money. It could be for some type of fame. But it also could be seriously just to stop these blessings that you, did, that you didn't attain with them that you've been attaining on your own. But this person could have been a negative force in your life that was blocking your movement. Okay? The three of fates. What goes around comes around. So if at one point you was experiencing some type of lack cancers, I feel like this person is now experiencing lack. This does sort of look like a pinnacle that they're holding on to. So this definitely can be them holding on to their money tight and them also holding on to you, hoping that if you do elevate in this ascension or whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish in life, that you just take them with you. Look at this. A ghost from the past. A ghost of the past, the past returns for a time, not for good. Notice she's holding the mask in her face, in her hand. All right, so. This is just feeling like a piggyback energy here. I feel like this person already got their three chances with you. With the three fates here, that's something that happens perpetually at least three times. Maybe this, you and this person went through three cycles. Maybe you've forgiven them for their sins three times. Whatever the case is, it's time for you to close this cycle because at this period, you notice a pattern. Um, you notice behavioral patterns from this person. Like I said, only when they lonely do they call you. If they got somebody else, then... 
you know, they'll chalk you up like two, like two crumbs in the wind. Like it doesn't matter, but you know, you, you're coming to the realization like, okay, now I'm really starting to see, I'm really, really starting to see that you come and go out my life. Like you continue to ghost me. Like I can't help but to see that this is ghosts from the past. So somebody could have ghosted you in the past and now here they are coming back. But notice that it's just for a time. Because it's up to you whether you're going to wait for this person to ghost you again or whether you're going to send them on their way um, at arrival. Like, uh, I don't know what you're here for, but you need to turn around and go that way. You know? So let's see what's going on. Why is the strangely lonely here for cancer? Holding on way too tight to my cancer. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the last half of May. Why is holding on way too tight here? Why is this person holding on to my cancer spirit? Ooh. They ain't got no options right now. I'll tell you that. That was too many cards that came out, so I'm not going to take it. But the Seven of Cups came out. And that's what I'm talking about. I am your man, but only when you're lonely. Take it as it resonates. You could be the feminine energy that keeps getting blocked. Or keeps getting um, ghosted by this person. Strangely lonely. And that's genuine, if y'all don't remember. The magician. Here they come. Here they come. Using all the elements that they possibly can. You know, maybe they maybe they were watching you before they came back for, uh, towards you. And if you want some type of new journey that's creating abundance for you, then they've been looking into what it is that you're studying. Learn some verbiage so they can come back and give you that mental stimulation that you need. Um, they come back offering you emotions. Oh, I miss you. I love you. They can never even tell you that when y'all was together. But all of a sudden, they feel that that energy now. Coming back with, you know, sex that'll keep you all locked up in your head. I'm getting a lot. Like, all of that coming from her head that makes me feel like they trying to manifest consuming your, your absolute thoughts so that you can do whatever it is that they want you to do. But this person is coming back in as the illusionist. They trying to make dirt look like chocolate cake. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if that's going to work for you at this time. But yeah, they coming out. They pulling out all stops. They got tricks up their sleeve. It's up to you as to whether you're going to recognize this as one of their behavioral patterns or if you're going to fall for it because you feel like somebody that you've been wanting to notice you, love you, or hold on to you tight is now holding on to you tight. So you just um, abandon all inhibitions and just go for it just because you wanted this person so bad in, in the past or out of desperation or loneliness or because you missed them. But that, that's the thing. This person strategically did that because they knew that you were to a place of healing, but not all the way through your healing to where you can resist them. The four materials. Now they want to cling on to you. Same energy. This is that same energy holding on way too tight. We all know the four of pentacles is holding on way too tight. All right. So let's see. Why is it strangely lonely here? Why are they holding on? I feel like because you've manifested a new life for yourself, that's what the magician can also be. So you can be in a magician energy where you're manifesting, where you're on a new emotional path, where you're just more emotionally balanced than you were when you were actually with this person here. You could be entering into a new relationship or you could have met somebody that's potential for a relationship. However, you're going down a new path of emotions. Let me just go ahead and read this passage so we can get clear on exactly what this is did i not what did i do with it i just saw it uh i need to straighten out this freaking oh here it is it's right in front of me <laughs> what was i dropping anyway so let me look up the muse of emotions real quick yeah let's do this okay compassion joy and freedom to feel all the emotions as a way to self-discovery, transcendent state of bliss, meditation, inner calm and knowing, being totally in touch with your desires and balanced and peaceful emotions, avoiding moodiness. So that could be something new within you. Maybe you were very frantic and angst with them because 
hell, they cause that type of energy. But they see you being like more emotionally mature, more balanced in your emotions, just going down a new path that you that you deem way more serene, way more calm, and way more aligned with with your path and where where it is that you want to go and what it is that you want to do here. Wow. Okay, so you just on all kind of new paths here. Yeah, now they real motivated to reach out to you. And again, I'm getting eight. So that's speaking to your prosperity. You just been being a go-getter going for it. And because of that, they see that in you. And now they ready. They want to walk on this path with you. So you going on two paths. You know, you more um, passionate about life as well as emotionally balanced. Let's read this one. The Muse of Inspiration. Okay, let's see. Okay, inspirational success. So whatever it is that you've been doing lately, you have been receiving some type of success from it. An inspired leader, a visionary, thinking big, the ability to bring many moving parts together into a large story, remaining inspired, taking action, making sure you don't create unrealistic expectations. The finish line of the phoenix. So that's what it is. You rose from the death and they thought that they killed you. And that's just that. They really thought that they depleted you to the point where you would never rise again. And they see you being resilient. They see you rising from the ashes and they see you picking a new path, a new creative path for yourself that's creating abundance and just being a visionary and doing all the things that you wanted to do with them. But you probably felt so pressed down and so minimized in a relationship with them that you couldn't dare. You couldn't dare like express these things to them. They would have just minimized it down to a stupid idea. Trust me. Okay, one more for Strangely Lonely. The Fool. Yeah, that's it. They see you taking action. They see you taking leaps of faith. And I feel like this is them wanting to follow right behind after you. Because I feel like you've already taken that leap. This is them wanting to take that leap towards you so they can bask in this new emotional and passionate energy or creative energy with you. <clears throat> okay, so why is the ghost from the past here? For cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Three of swords in reverse. They see you healing. Listen, this is the type of energy vampire that does not. You are on so many new paths, Cancer. Oh, my God. And you're resting and healing and retreating from this person. And that's why they're back. They want to be nosy, number one. They want to see how much you've healed from the damage that they've caused. And you looking pretty good right here. You don't went from being like this. Where you just bought up with no protection. This is like a door with no shelter. And somebody hiding behind a door with no shelter. And just feeling completely heartbroken, shattered. Um, you went through your dark night. You really did. And now you're on a brand new path to stability too. So, okay. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay, Cancer. Uh, you are the muse. Like, you are literally the mogul. And I'm probably going to name this that because you are literally on so many new paths and you're opening up so many new doors for yourself that you're absolutely irresistible to this person at this time. I definitely could feel like they could be back for sabotorial reasons. They could be back to sabotage your path. Who knows? But uh, essentially... This is the type of person that's used to you needing them, chasing after them, wanting them around. And this time around, you took the high road. You became emotionally balanced. You started a new project, which is leading you to a new um, material beginning. So this could be you buying a new home, just having more money to spare in everyday life. You know, saving things, investing in things. But just as we read everyone, we might as well read the materials too. So just so we can get a clear understanding. Yep, here we go. Oh, 
Okay, so abundance, earth energy, life, material success, the journey of creating prosperity and being able to provide for those you love, the joy of life well lived, grounding into the earth, gratitude, comfort, wealth, health, and happiness. So that's what you're experiencing and they want to be a part of that. That's the reason why the past is coming back. But again, I can't help but to notice that it says for a time. So this is still a temporary interruption in your life by somebody that wants to bask in the same energy as you. They want to be, they, they want to emulate the confidence and the passion and creativity that you do. They do have hidden agendas. They do have hidden agendas, and I feel like your intuition is telling you that strongly with the moon card here. You haven't forgotten the fact that this person made you feel so small. Peep this small compared to this bigger energy. You guys could have definitely been dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo, but I'm getting Taurus energy here. I'm getting Aries energy here. I'm getting Gemini and Aquarius energy here. And Virgo as well. The chariot in reverse. The seven of voices. Hidden agendas. Period. This person doesn't have good agendas. In the end, you're going to see. They probably get something from you. Because you have an emotional attachment to them. Somewhat still. I feel like you just emotionally balanced. And um, you know, you love from an unconditional place. And they're banking on that. They're banking on being able to get something from you because they know um, from, from the energies in which you operate. But that's what they don't get. You're fully into your intuition as well as your divine feminine energy. So I feel as though you completely understand why this person is back even if they aren't voicing that. When the seven of swords and the three of swords show up in the same spread, that's bad. You know, that's this person continuously lying, cheating, stealing from you, breaking your heart and coming back. So the fact that they even have the goal to come back after doing this repeatedly already, it just speaks to the lack of respect that they have for you. With the chariot in reverse, that definitely speaks to your final decision when it comes down to dealing with this person that you don't want to move forward with them. That that's out of the question for you. Let's clarify this. Because I want to know who is the magician in this situation. Is it them creating illusions for you? Or is it them watching you manifest newness without them? And being so freaking bitter because of it. Wanting to come in and offer you a marriage. But honestly, if they married you, it would be for money. Why is the magician here? Or to ride your coattail. This person that saw you heal yourself. And, you know, come out of this situation, an entrepreneur, I'm getting the toil and labor in reverse, residual income, passive income. Meanwhile, I feel like this person is experiencing financial burdens. I feel like they have to hold on tight to their coins while things are changing for you in a positive way. You've gotten over the fact that people have hurt you in the past. I feel like you redeveloped your emotional um, stability by forgiving those that have hurt you, even without an apology. This person starts off, this, listen, let me tell you something. If you got this person blocked on social media, then they're going to find you through email by any means necessary. I'm seeing that they making, they are going to, they're not taking no for an answer. They only giving you one decision and that's to take them back. Why is the muse of inspiration here? Wow. <clears throat> okay, I don't want to take these because I don't know how they feel. Why is the muse of inspiration here for cancer? Yeah. Every time I see a new path for you, it's just you moving away from something sneaky. The muse of emotions was clarified by the, the fox in reverse. The muse of inspiration was clarified by the snake in reverse. So you moving away from this person and you creating new doors for yourself. One door opens and 
One door closes and many open for you in this situation. Why is the full card here? And these opportunities are yours for the taking and you are absolutely taking them. Why is the full card here? Too many. Why is the full card here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the last half of May 2020, Spirit, the lies they tell in the secrets they keep. Why is the full card here for Cancer? Distant Horizon. Expectations. You know what? I feel like you came to grips with the fact that you can't put expectations on people. People are who they are. And certain people are born into this world to do exactly what they do. Um, just like a lot of us leaders or spiritual teachers or light workers or... You know, we come in and do what we have to do, but also the lower in, the lower um, energetic in, entities, they here to do their job as well. To divide, conquer, destroy. Why is the four of voices here? And you feel so much more peaceful without this person. You recognize a value within yourself. You recognize that you're all the love and happiness you need and you cr can create the reality of fortune that you want on your own, you don't have to do that as a team. You could do that by yourself and then find a person that's right for you later. Because as for them, they could have walked away from you because you were experiencing emotional lack, but you were experiencing emotional lack because you were with them. And, and you don't, you know, I can say this until I'm blue in the face, but when you stay in a situation where it's no love, it's like you can't manifest from a place of no love. Like you're not in receptive energy. Um, when you're dealing with an individual like this that makes you feel unworthy, then that transfers and manifests in every other area of your life. Then it becomes that you don't feel like you deserve success. You don't feel like you deserve abundance. You don't feel like you deserve love. And because you don't feel those things, because you're dealing with a person that make you feel unworthy of all things, then you attract exactly that, lack. Why is the three of voices in reverse here? Sudden wealth in reverse. And that's the thing. I feel like if this person was arrogant and they did you wrong in some type of way because they was on a whole nother status than you or a whole nother tax bracket or something like that. I feel like the, the, the roles are reversing now. New doors are opening for you. Meanwhile, you finding out that this person is experiencing loss. Um, people around them are passing away. Bad luck. Um, they, they are being left and ghosted by the people that they were dealing with behind your back, people that they chose over you, people that they put on a pedestal when they were in a relationship with you, no matter how it made you feel. You know, somebody that they really wanted to be with left them in the dust. This person could have been a married person or they could have went and got married after, right after they broke up with you to a Taurus or they could be a Taurus. Why is the Hierophant here? Now they want to think about a family. Now they want to come um, invoking some type of change or coming off like they more mature. You know, their family could even be egging them on or their friends could even be egging them on. Like, yeah, you should reach out. But, you know, the chariot is in reverse. Why? Because I feel like this is you deciding not to move forward with this no matter what this person claims. It's like I still have a choice and I feel like I gave you no chances in this situation. Judication. So you calling judgment on the situation here. You sitting back, you assessing, and your final decision is to not move forward in this situation. Okay. Okay, what is the final outcome for my cancers?
What is the final out outcome for my Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The path. All of these muses are the path. And that's what you answering. I feel like you was on, on a lower dimension with this person. And you sitting up there looking where you're supposed to be at in this new timeline, in this new dimension. And you've been contemplating it for a long time. Yet another eight. It's prosperity. This new path is going to bring you so much prosperity here. And it was a rocky road. Look at look at these unstable steps that you had to climb. It was scary. It took a lot of bravery. It took a lot of patience. It took a lot of diligence because you had to give up people that you actually felt for deeply on an emotional level in order to attain this path. But you're getting ready to do it. Resistance is here. The masculine is resisting in this situation here. But you remain free from this situation. With the sovereignty card, okay? Because you want to stay centered. And this person does not make you stay centered. They make you feel crushed. They make you feel stagnant. They make all your ideas, no matter how big and grand deals, seem small. And so you no longer want to move forward with this. Even if this was something that you really wanted, it's like... Okay, it took for me to have to do this and that. That's not unconditional love. You're not seeing my true value. All you're seeing is the dollar signs that I'm getting ready to bring in because I manifested it after healing from you. Okay. I hope this helped cancer. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. Like, comment. Ring that bell so you'll be notified every single time I post another video. Watch your moon rising in Venus and cross watch for your lovers and I'm out.